I need some of your hair. What? My hair? What do you mean? What do you mean my hair? Here, robot, here's some yummy food. What is happening? What is happening? This is mommy's robot. How can I help you? Your wish is my command. Now to make Ryan's sandwich, I will do both peanut butter and ham sandwich together. Here you go, Ryan. Lunch is served. Yay! Wait a minute. Ew, why is there peanut butter with ham? Welcome to Ryan's world. Hey guys, Daddy ordered a do-it-yourself robot kit for me, and I'm tracking it down right now. Package is on its way. Should be here any minute. Package delivered. Ryan, your package is here. Hurry, come pick it up. Okay. Ryan, the package came in. I think this is for you. Yeah, don't you remember? You ordered me a robot kit for my birthday. Did I? Oh yeah, you're right. You ready to open it? Yeah. Wow, it's big. Okay. Whoa, check Whoa. this out. Whoa, it's do-it-yourself robot. All right, Ryan, let's take it out of the box. Okay, let's take it out. Mm. Oh. Wow, it's huge. Yeah. I thought it's like a toy size. Hi. And the other arm. Whoa. Oh, yeah. All right, Ryan, looks like this is the last one. Ryan, why don't you look at the instruction book while I'm looking for the toolbox, okay? Okay. Step zero, clear everything off the table. Okay. How to build your own robot friend. All right, Ryan, get the toolbox. Okay. So it says, first, put all the parts together. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's start with the lead. Against the wall here. Here. Body. I think it's a little way, Ryan. Yeah. It's not the his butt. There you go. Go ahead. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Now for the arm. Nice and slow. Good job. Bam. Oh, perfect. All right, this side. Like this. Mm. Perfect. Grab my tools and let's finish up building the robot. I'm gonna build a robot. It's gonna be my best friend. I'm gonna build a robot. Grab some tools and let's begin. Okay, Daddy, we put the parts together. Now what? Let me read the instruction. Next, charge it for a few hours. Oh, we have to charge it? But where? Oh, is this it? Oh yeah! That's it. All right, plug it in. I guess that's all we can do for now. We'll come back in a few hours. All right, let's go. Okay guys, we're playing chess while waiting for the robot to chill. All right, my move. This way. I'm gonna go this way. Got your king. Ah, hello. Anybody there? I think I'm finished charging. I think I'm finished charging. Oh, it's the robot! Yeah. Right, let's go! Let's go! Hello! <laughs> it's the robot! Hello, friend! I am your new robot friend! Wow, it's working, guys! Yeah, but how do we make it move? Okay, let me read the instruction. Enjoy your new robot friend. Remote included. Oh! Remote? Did I miss remote? Oh! You're right, right here. Let's see what it does. Okay, here we go, Ryan. Okay. Uh, let's see. Volume up. Hey, I'm so loud. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Volume down. Hello, do you hear me? Let's try something else. Okay, I'm going to ask my robot what's the weather tomorrow. What's the weather tomorrow? Um, so far, it looks like it could be raining or snowing or thunderstorming. So many, so many options. You have to wait to tomorrow to find out. Not really helpful, <laughs> is it? It's not good. You know what, Daddy? Let's go a little bit easier on the okay. robot. What is two plus two? According to my calculation, two plus two could be a four, or is it three, or is it two? 
I'm not sure. I only know, um, only preschool stuff. My gosh, what? he's not good. <laughs> Why did I pay for this? Lame. I'm gonna go take a nap. <sighs> Maybe we're missing a step. Add human DNA. It's optional. The robot will think like a human. Beware. Maybe dangerous? Dangerous? Nah. Hmm, so where to find human DNA? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Human DNA. Hmm. Oh, Mommy! Oh, hi, Ray, what's up? I need some of your hair. What? My hair? What do you mean? What do you mean my hair? What? What's going on? There you go. Here, robot, here's some yummy food. What is that? It's hair, it's super yummy. Are you sure this is food? Yes. Okay, yum, 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 yum. All right, robot, I'm gonna come back and check up on you later.
hungry. I can't wait for my food. Here you go, Ryan. Lunch is served. Tell me what you think. Yay. Wait a minute. Ew, why is there peanut butter with ham? Ugh. Ugh, and I smell onions. That's not how you make lemonade. I ran out of lemon, so onion is all I have. Oh, right. Let's see if Ryan cleaned his room like he's supposed to. Did you clean your room? You don't want to see angry daddy today. Mm. Oh, he did clean his room. Look. Nice. Oh, he did a great job. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, he just shoveled everything up there. What? This is not cleaning. Since I did such a good job, what would you like me to do Ryan. next? This is my hard to clean your room. Uh, Ryan! Uh oh, Daddy's coming! Oh, I gotta hide you! Over here! Where are we going? Over here, over here! Whoa, oh, what? He doesn't know I upgraded you to 2.0! I cannot go too fast! I am robot speed! Next task! Stay here and make yourself useful! What, what do I do here? What do I do here? Hello? 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 Uh, Ryan, close the door on me. Make myself useful. Hmm. Well, I guess I can fold clothes. But how do I fold clothes? Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Hey, Ryan, where are you? Come in. Move here. That wasn't the definition of cleaning your room. Sorry about that. I'm going to go clean my room right now. In the meanwhile, do you want my sandwich? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh. Mm, it smells good too. <laughs> okay. All right, room all clean. Hmm, now how do I fix my robot? Hmm, so my robot isn't very smart. Let's see what I can do. I can download an update. Okay, 50%, 80%. Okay, 100%. Download complete. Now, let's make this robot smarter. Hey, robot, are you still there? Ah, what's going on? Ryan, help! I cannot see! I cannot see! Help! <laughs> A new update. So you're gonna be super smart in three, two, one. Did it work? Let me show you. Five plus five equals ten. It did work. Okay, so now can you clean up this mess and do the dishes? I am on it, Ryan. I will. Keep you safe, don't you worry. Okay, thanks. Who made this mess? This is unacceptable. Muscle clothes. Now that my robot is super smart, I can play Roblox and they can get everything done. Check out the laundry room, Daddy. Whoa, no 
way! He even folded up like this. It's so neat. It looks like it's something at the Walmart. Look at this. Huh. Mm, Ryan deserves a reward, right? Ryan, the bathroom and the guest room is all clean. I think it's time for you to go to bed. Ryan, it is time for you to go to bed. What? Go to bed? Yep, according to my calculation, kids need adequate sleep time of about 8 to 10 hours. You're supposed to be in bed by 8 p.m. It's already 7.30. Control. <gasps> what did you say? Nothing. Hold it up, please. Let's go to bed. It's already almost eight. I will tuck you in. It's only seven forty. More sleep is better. Okay. That way your body can heal and grow at night. Good night. Good night. Oh. I think I'm doing such a good job, but I gotta find more ways to keep Ryan safe. <sighs> Who do I call? The robot is going crazy. Oh, oh, maybe I should call my dad. I should tell him about the robot. Daddy, I gotta tell you about the robot. It's going crazy. Ryan, I'm in the meeting. I can't talk to you. Can you just wait? All right, I'll talk to you in 30 minutes, okay? Daddy's no help. What do I do? Ryan, is that you? Is that you? I'm doing calculations in my head. I gotta find a way to keep Ryan safe. I realize the only way to keep Ryan safe is if he is in this house forever. Gotta keep Ryan safe. <gasps> Ryan, is that you? Ryan? get a recharge. Okay, good idea. Uh, where should I take my little nap? Uh, maybe take a nap there. Okay. Are you sure you'll be okay without me? I'll be fine. Okay. Power me on when you need me. I think the robot is powered off. Okay, this is my chance. Arms, here. 
legs. And final touch, the feet. Okay, this should work. Let's turn it back on. Robot, power on. Power it on. You always have to clean up when you play, right? Uh -huh. Hey guys, what should we do today? I have an idea. Let's build a robot.
How about Shobo, because I'm Sean, Shobo versus Aibo, who's smarter? All right, it is on. I'm rooting for Aibo, let's go. So how about you be the judge and just judge, see who does better on each command. All right, guys, so I brought Paul here with me. We're going to be the official judge of who's better, Aibo or Seanbo, OK? So we have our whiteboard here. We're going to go through six or seven rounds and we're gonna see who does better, right? So the first thing they have to do is play dead. Ibo's challenge is up first. Ibo, bang, bang.
That's how you act play dead? <laughs> You're not a really good actor. And it took so long too. <laughs> You're not really good. I'm better. Alright, let's see then. Okay, ready? Sean. Bang bang! <laughs> oh no! <coughs> Why? I thought you were my best friend. Why did you shoot me? <laughs> Alright. That's how you act, okay? Academy winner. Act best actor, Sean. Alright, Paul, let's figure out who won. Alright, so we're gonna give them a score between zero, which means you're not good, to ten, which means perfect. Okay? Alright, so you know we're gonna give Ivo? Yes. Okay, alright. No looking. You ready? One, two, three, ten! Seven! Seven! He took so long. He took like, he took like 20 years just to flip over on his back. Yeah, but when he did it though, it was amazing. It was like the best performance playing dead I've ever seen, so. All right, so together, I both got 17 points! All right, so next is Sean Bo. Okay, so I thought it was really good, except it's a little bit dramatic for me, so. It's good. All know. right, let's see. Please, please, give me high points. All right, you ready? Ready. One, two, three. One billion. What? what? Yes. yes. One billion. Yes. I already won. I don't even have yes. to add them together. No. Yay! He swept the award season. He's got the Oscar for best performance in a small role on a small, on a pretty large YouTube channel. So. Yay! Thank you. I'd like to thank my parents first, and then of course my beautiful family, Ryan and Mike. Kay. Thank you so much. I will be where I am. And? Oh, oh, and and and, and, and Lauren too, of course. I was gonna save the best for last. <laughs> Why well, I only give you eight? Because oh, I, I feel like it was like way over dramatic. Like it was just too much, you know? It wasn't realistic. Have you so... seen yourself acting in the video? Because that's too much. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm not on trial here. You are. So I'm giving you eight. Okay, so sorry, Paul, but the maximum is ten. Oh, so man. Ten. All right. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> it's okay, Paul. Move over, Leonardo DiCaprio. Sean Bo's in the building. <laughs> so, adding together, Sean Bo gets 18 points. So that means I won! Ooh. The first round, I won! <laughs> Take your eyeball, I won. All right, guys, round two, it is to see who can sing a better song, all right? So since Ibo is a robot dog, he is programmed to be able to sing really cool songs. So let's see who can sing better, all right? Ibo, sing! If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. He's just too cute. Uh, it's okay. I can do better. He was just playing the melody. I can do better. I can sing that song in Japanese. <gasps> Shanbo, sing if you're happy and you know it. Clap your hands in Japanese. All right, multi-language button on. Shiawase nara te o tatako. Shiawase nara te o tatako. しめさよよ。みんなで手を叩こう。ああ。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうござい
points deducted there. I was gonna give him a perfect 10, but now. I think we need to change his batteries. That's what needs to happen. Oh no! I don't know English! One, two, three. So I was gonna give Sean a 10, but then he couldn't fit, sing it, you know, the regular English way. So he only gets a seven. Seven. And I gave him a, a nine and a half. You know, he was a little off key, so <laughs> I took it off of there, you know, but uh, he did a good job either way. Uh, that's actually more hurtful than Lauren's comment. <laughs> I'm off pitch. All right, so together, 16 and a half points for round two. Wait, so that means I won round two too? Yeah! I'm going to win all the rounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next one is super hard. Okay, so it is. Wait, what is the next one? <laughs> Yeah, but the next one is really hard, okay? It is the cute face contest. So, do you think you got what it takes? Like that. I'm all be cute. I don't think Shambo can be that cute. Are you commanding the cheek and stuff? Shambo, try your best. Be cute. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, just awkward. that's just weird. Yes. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ten! Ten. Perfect. That was perfect. Perfect ten. Score? That was, was so cute. That was great. Oh, I have to admit, he is cute. Oh. You ready? All right. Ta-da! Okay, so one was his actual point, right? One for being my husband, and then two. Total. Uh, okay. I wish you could call me two instead of that <laughs> extra point. Uh. And I gave him one plus a sad face. Uh. That's just showing how I felt while looking at his face. Too awkward, you know? So, two plus one, three! <laughs> Alright, next round is my favorite round here. Let's see how smart they are. We're gonna see if they can do math, okay? So it's a robo dog, he should be able to do math. Oh, so, yeah. I'm gonna give him something that I think is perfectly fair. Okay, are you ready, Sean, to do math too? Oh, I'm in, I used to be an engineer. This is my field. Let's do some math. What is two plus three? Whoa! Whoa what I can't believe it. Genius! Wow. Einstein has some competition. Am he I right? Does. That dog must have went to Yale. Simple question. <laughs> I, even, I could've done it. Two plus three is eight, five. I don't know, I think this dog went to an Ivy League school, Sean, so I don't think you have a chance. Right, yeah. I'm sorry. You're gonna get a very fair question, almost the same thing as the dog, okay? So don't worry about it, all right? So uh, your equation to figure out is uh, what is the sum of 500 billion to the square root of three divided by a shoe, uh, plus add and subtract at the same time the amount of time it takes to get from here to Chicago if we were to hop on two separate planes. And if Billy had five pineapples and Sammy had six pineapples, how many pineapples does Renato have? And at the same time, add up the equation of all of the circumference of the entire universe. And what is that answer? Go. What? This got shoes and pineapple. There's random stuff in it. No, that's too hard. And you have 10 seconds, okay? Go. No. I don't even know how to start. Okay, maybe the square root of this, and then there's a shoe, and the distance. Time's up, time's, time's up. up. You answered oh, me. Man. I'm going home. My brain hurts now. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too hard. Ready, go. 10, Ten for I just, definitely. That's just amazing, super smart yes. dog. Perfect score? Yes. Just adding two plus three? Oh, come on. Yeah, it changed my life. Yes. It is great. All right, for Sean Bo, for Robot. however. That's what we expected more from you. Whoops. All right, ready? Zero. Zero? You know what, I gave five. him five because this is the answer to my equation, it's five. What? Ugh. No! All right, so together, Sean has five. Okay, I gave him a zero because he didn't even answer the question, so. 
I gave him five for trying, because he thought a lot. I can see it. All <laughs> <laughs> right, fine, it's okay. Right now, I have two points. I have two points. Okay, it's tied now. All right, the score is tied two to two here. Last round will determine who is a better dog. Ibo or Shanbo, okay? Last me, round involve me. these super stinky, smelly socks here. Oh, oh, oh. Why? Okay. Why do we have to use that? No. So, oh, man. the socks has its pair, okay? So let's see who can find their matching pair. All right, Ibo, the rainbow socks is yours. You got it? All right. John, this is the socks you have to find. Mine is Why is it so big? Okay. Whose socks is this? <sighs> oh. Oh, it's so... That's good. It's gonna be like 10 years old. All right. <coughs> I think I got it. You got it? All right. I'm All ready. Right. Let the challenge begin. Go! Okay, it's coming from here. I can smell it. Oh, it's gonna be in the maze. Oh. Okay, all right, let's see if I can find it. There's so much snow. The weather is so bad in this maze. And there's lava on the floor. All right, all right, here we go. Too much work. Oh, huh? I think it's getting close. Oh, oh it's here! I found the yellow sock! Yay! I guess it was worth it. I think I'm gonna win. The final round's gonna be me. All right, I'm gonna show you, Ivo. I'm gonna come back. All right, all right, I found it. Here you go. Oh. Yeah, I did it! What? What? It took way too long. Wow. I both found it like 10 minutes ago, so... What? Yeah. How? Found it super fast. Yeah, so... Sorry, Shauna, you lost the challenge. Good boy! Good job, good Ivo! Boy. Yeah, good, good boy! boy. Oh, I lost! Good I lost boy. to the robot dog. Good boy! Oh. Good, boy. Oh, good, good boy! Good boy! You're so cute! Good, good job! Oh. Hey guys, I'm just helping Mommy clean up. Huh, I wonder who keeps leaving these here. Hmm. What? Might as well just put this in a trash can. A scrubber? What? This is so much yarn. What? And some cotton balls? What are these even used for? What am I gonna do with all of this? How am I gonna recycle them? Hey, Ryan. Hi, Pet. I know exactly what to do with them. What can I do with them? Send them over and I will make some super cool robots. A robot? No way! With this stuff? Okay, Pet, good luck. Okay, can't wait to see what you make. Bye! Oh, thanks, Ryan. <gasps> Peck, did I just hear your teleportation device? Yes, you did. Ryan sent me all the parts to make the bots. <gasps> Let's get started on our first bot. <laughs> the first step in building our brushy bot is to wire the battery pack to the motor, creating a circuit. Since we're at the lab, we happen to have these parts just lying around, but they can also be found online or at most hobby stores. Building these bots can be difficult and dangerous, so make sure that you ask an adult for help. Wiring the motor is the most important step in powering our bot. We are going to connect the positive or red wire to the positive side of the motor and make sure that that is nice and secure. Then we are going to connect the black or negative wire to the negative side of the motor, just like that. Now we are going to wrap everything together with a piece of electrical tape to keep our connections nice and secure. First, we're going to grab our brush. Next, we're going to secure the battery pack and the motor bracket to the back of the brush using hot glue. Once again, make sure to ask an adult for help, especially when using things like hot glue. Now I'm using electrical tape to secure the extra wires so that they don't get caught up under the brush or in the motor. Now we are going to hot glue our cork to the post on the motor. 
It is important that the cork is attached off balance or lopsided so that when it rotates, it creates vibration. Now this vibration is gonna make our bot move. All that's left now is to add batteries. Now that we have everything built, all that's left is to flip this switch and complete the circuit. <gasps> Woohoo! Look at him go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Easy there! <laughs> okay. Yay! First bot completed! Actually, Peck, we're not quite done with this bot. Huh? Are you kidding me? This guy needs a face. Ta da! Whoa! This bot sure is neat. But you know what? What, Peck? He could use a friend. <gasps> that is a great idea, a friend. I have a great idea. We are going to use this cup. <gasps> so just like the other bot, we're going to start by connecting our positive wire and our negative wire. There we go. That looks good and secure. Let's test it out. Sounds good. Next, we're gonna cut a hole in the top. Make sure you ask an adult for help. Now we're gonna attach our motor and our battery pack. So starting with the motor, we're gonna have to be very careful as we glue this into place. The glue might take a while to dry, so we have to be very careful not to burn ourselves. And we need to make sure the motor sits in very straight. Now we're gonna glue our battery pack in place. Gotta use plenty of glue so that it sticks really well. Let's put it right here where we can still turn on our lever. There we go. Now I'm going to secure the motor extra, extra, extra with some tape. Plus it adds some fun color. So for our counterbalance, we're gonna use this clothespin and clip it just like that. Ryan found us three markers. We've got orange, blue, and purple. So we are going to tape them to our cup. Let's do the blue first. There we go. And then we're gonna do orange. No, no, no. And then the last one is gonna be purple. There we go. Ta-da! And ready to draw. Oh, I might add a few more finishing touches. And now we decorate. Ta-da! Look at all that color. All righty, Bree. I laid out some paper for us to color on. <gasps> Coloring? Good thing I go everywhere with my colors. I think I'm gonna start with maybe a house. And... Oh wait. Sorry, Bree, not for us, for the bot to color on. <sighs> okay, well, I guess. I mean, this guy does look pretty cool and I'm excited to see what kind of picture he makes. Hopefully some purple. <laughs> First thing we have to do to start coloring is take off the caps. There we go. Ooh, look at those colors. Now we just have to flip it on and now we draw. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Fancy coloring, but it's making circles. Oh no, he's falling off the table. Let's see. I think we need some more color here. Perfect. Whoa, look at these circles it's making. It kind of reminds me of a spiral graph. And we need some color over here. All right, guys, now to color the rest of our paper. Whoa, look, he's moving. Look at this cool pattern he's making. <gasps> and done. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> it was fun watching the bot make its doodles. But 
But can we make one more bot breed? Well, we do have some straws and some toilet paper. Perfect. That'll be great for our next bot. If you say so. Okay, Bree, we have all our materials. Let's make a race car bot. Well, if you're asking me, my first answer is always the same. Let's decorate. First thing we have to do is fix this toilet paper roll. Now that looks like a race car. Next up, these wheels need some bling. There. Now look at that, all ready to go. Now we are gonna give this race car some wheels. First thing we're gonna do is assemble our axles. Now we're gonna use these beads and glue them in the center of each wheel. This is gonna hold our axle in place. Now our axle is actually gonna be made out of the sticks and the straws. So we need to cut the axles one size and the straws just a little bit shorter. This is going to allow for our wheels to roll. Now that we have everything cut to size, all that's left is to glue it all in place and put it underneath our car. Once everything is dry, the straw should spin, like this. Now all we gotta do is build a second axle and once that's dry, put it under our car. All right, now we're gonna stick it to the bottom side of our car using duct tape. We have to be really, really careful to make sure we stick the axles on straight and in the middle so that our car will go straight. Now is the tricky part. We are going to use this on-off switch to turn our car on and off. So in order to do that, the first step we're gonna have to do is to lengthen our positive wire because it's too short to run all the way through the car to the back. To do this, we're gonna cut our wire in half and then using wire strippers, we're going to take the coating off of both sides so that we can thread them together. Now, we're going to take the two ends of exposed wire and we are gonna twist and twist and twist nice and tight and then cover it with tape for safety. Now that that is nice and secure, it's time to put in our switch. We're going to take two positive sides and thread it through each side of the switch. We're gonna bend over the wire to make little loops and then secure that with more tape. Now that we have our switch in place and that looks nice and secure, it's time to wire up the motor. We are gonna start by attaching the negative side to the negative side, bending over the wire so it's nice and secure. Now that we're done taping the negative side, let's connect and tape up our positive side. And there we go. Hopefully we can get this nice and tight with some tape. So now that we have our circuit connected with our motor, our on and off switch, and our battery pack, we need power, AKA battery. So if we connect this, then we hit our on off switch. It turns on like that. Next step is to install our finished circuit inside of our race car. We are gonna put it in here. So that way it can go zoom. The first step is making sure our motor is attached in the front with enough space for our propeller. Now that that's in place, we need to make sure our battery pack is nice and secure in the back. All that's left is to attach the switch. Ooh. Now we have our circuit installed. I put the on off switch in the back so it's easy to turn on and off. We've got the battery, all the cables, and the motor up front. The last thing that we need to do is to put on our propeller. And done. Ooh, let's go for a test drive. You heard the penguin, let's go. Go, race car, go! This bot is spectacular! That was so much fun! I think it's time we send these over to Ryan. 
as much as I would love to play with them. I think you're right. Teleporting the bots over to Ryan. <laughs> Bye, bots. Hey, Ryan. What are you doing? I'm waiting for Peck to send me his latest invention. Hey, guys. Oh, hi, Peck. Is it ready? The bots are ready. Ta-da! Whoa, Whoa! That's so cool! Wow, Peck. <laughs> Amazing work! What are these? So I sent Peck a bunch of random stuff, and he said he could make a robot with it. That so these cool. are robots? Yeah. Huh. Make sure to test them out. Have fun! <laughs> okay! Do you see a button, Ryan? I see a button over here. It's a lever. Let's see what it does. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, oh, it oh, it's going around. backwards! It's going oh. backwards! Backwards! It's cute! Oh. Backwards airplane! Where are you Is going? It? Yeah! Oh, we should name him. He's so cute! Yeah. Look at oh, it's like a pet. Robo pet. What's his name? Uh, hmm. Maybe... Bearplane, because it's like an airplane. But then it goes backwards. A bear plane, okay. Oh, so cute. Hi, bear plane. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, okay, my turn. So this one, I found the switch right here. Let's see what if it works. Whoa! 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 It moves. Whoa! Okay, ready? Yeah. Move your hand. Move your hand. Okay. Go. Whoa! All right, this is the last one. Let's see. Let okay. me turn it on. Whoa! Whoa! It's spinning! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's coming oh. towards us! Oh. Hello! Hello! Don't forget that it can also draw two yay colors! Hey guys! Today, I have a big surprise for you. You know, in our studio, we always try a new thing. Today, I will introduce you even bigger, bigger project here. I don't even think Disney or Universal Studio has done this already. All right, you guys ready? So I'm going to turn one of my employees into a robot. Wait, 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 wait. Who are you gonna? Who agreed to get turned into a robot? Who's who's it gonna be? Who should I? Who should I turn into a robot? There's so many employees now. Hmm. Going to name this Bro Robot Brobot. <laughs> it's going to be my best friend. <laughs> ah, so much cuter now. All right, guys, let's get ready. I'm gonna start building other parts too. Now all I have to do is just press this button and activate. Okay guys, you guys ready? All right, activate! <laughs> it's finally done! All right, now I'm gonna check and see if my command works. All right, robot, raise your hand. Ah, it worked! Now lift your leg. Good, drop it down. Yes, it's complete. All right. I'm gonna do something even more cooler. All right, robot, start dancing! <laughs> Amanda, what are you doing? Getting all the fog out. Yeah, but that makes the robot look cool. You need to be able to breathe. 
All right, Robo, you can stop dancing now. All right, let's get you to do other stuff. Let's go to the editor room and start editing the video. We gotta get rid of her now. That's what I'm saying, dude. Hey Paul, we're still doing lunch later? Yeah, I'm thinking Arby's, dude. I'm thinking Arby's. Oh, dude. Sorry, man. Uh, we'll, we'll do Subway, dude. We'll do Subway, man. Catch you there, dude. Yeah, you know, man, my, my shoulders, my neck, it's been really sore. I think I lifted my dog wrong, maybe. So, can you do something about that? Oh. Hmm. Wow. Thanks, robot. Get in trouble, robot. I'm so sorry. Can you tell me I don't want to get in trouble. Is robot okay? I think Moen's gonna be still mad. I hope she's not mad at robot. <sighs> What's going on there? You're so funny, robot. Oh. <laughs> show you where you can stay, okay? Come here. Let's go. Yeah, there's a place you can stay here. All right, Baba, this is your house. Isn't that cool? It has a bedroom, it has a playroom, it has a kitchen, everything in it. All right, have fun. Bye. Don't forget to turn off the light, okay? Bye-bye. I told you to get me coffee before I come into the office. It's not here. Go get the coffee. <sighs> Same mistake every single time. <sighs> chop, 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 chop. Finally, the coffee is here. T what took you so long? Ah, I told you to use soy milk, not 2% milk. Robo, you made the same mistake again. You know, Robo, it's just coffee. You know, it's just I coffee. Don't know how many times I have to sit the same thing over and over right? every day. If you just remember what I say, even once, I don't know how many times I have you know, the same thing again, over and over. I said, I think exactly the same thing yesterday too. Oh, oh what are you doing? Why? What, what, what are you doing? Let me go, Robo. What are you doing? Ah, whoa. Ah, let me go. I need to work. Ah, Robo, let me go. No. Get me back. No. Wow. Hey, get me back. Hey, why are you closing the door? 
Oh no! Oh, it's blocked! I can't get in! Hey! Open it! Open it! Ah. Meet my new robot friend, Eggie. Nice to meet you. Let's draw something. Okay, I guess we're gonna draw something. Welcome, friends. Let's draw a beautiful insect. It has a long body. So, any idea what insect it could be? The... Not enough clue? Maybe a fly or something. A fly? Maybe. People may think it has two wings. Two but wings? Actually, it has four. Huh? An insect with four wings. Okay. I think it's a butterfly, actually. You think so? Yeah. Okay, let's continue to see if you're right. It can flap its wings about five times every second. So, still think it's a butterfly? Yeah. Did you know it flaps its wings five times a second? That's a lot. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, like that. So it does it step by step, so that way if you want to, you can follow along. Can you guess what it is? I love it. I never thought about putting hearts on the butterfly. Wow, it is a butterfly. Well, we got it right. It's a butterfly. Okay, next game. Let's do a maze. Maze basketball. Can you see how to get a basketball to the basket? Mm. Let's find out where the exit is. There are small stars in the place of the exit. Let the basketball go out of the exit. Okay, Eggy, challenge on. Let's do this maze. So, I go this way. Yeah, so far so good. And this way. And this way. Yeah, you reached a star, good job. Next challenge is testing out nature knowledge. Natural knowledge, fire. The light and flame are emitted when an object burns is a fire. Mm. A torch can be ignited uh. and used to illuminate the road. Okay. Look for mm. some dry wood to ignite. You can also burn and keep them warm. So, we are drawing a few pieces of wood below. That's pretty good Then, point. at the mm -hmm. top, draw some flames. Do you know what the fire is used for? Cooking. Yes. Fire can be used to cook. Good job. A several thousand degrees fire. Just with wood. Wow. That's a really, really high temperature. Mm -hmm. So, don't be greedy and get close to the fire. Yeah. Is that safe to get close to the fire? Oh, it's spelling out fire. Oh. F-I-R-E. Fire. Next challenge, drawing with numbers. We need to use the number one as the back of the bird. We draw the number three as the head and the abdomen uh, of the see bird. See it, number one right here, and then number three. Wait, I wanna try to draw that too. Yeah. So can you tell me which number we should use to draw the wings of the bird? <gasps> two. Oh, two, yeah. So... Yes. We can use the two. number two as the wings two. of the bird. We use the number zero as its eye. The number four as the tail of the bird. Oh. You see a four there? Oh, yeah, I'm not good at writing these fours. It's okay. The bird's claws are small, and we draw them under the number three. The bird is standing on the branch. Nice. Tree. Best yeah. branch. Yeah. This is Ryan's bird. And this is Eggy Bird. Looks almost the same, right? Yeah. Good job. Draw with shapes. Draw with shapes. Clock. Clock. Okay. Ooh. Kids, are you a lazy boss? Or mom I don't need dad an alarm clock. Ask you to get up every day? Huh? Ah. <laughs> Eggy needs Listen. an alarm clock to wake up every day. Circle for Eggy. And circle for Ryan. Oh. I, I'm gonna draw my own clock. Yeah. Draw whatever you like, Ryan. That's the beauty of drawing. You can make it your own. This little lazy bone hasn't gotten up. These two oval bells are ringing. Ring. It has two small feet, like two small semicircles. Two nice. small feet. Eat. Nice. Eat. A heart shape. Oh, is there space? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You got this. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Looks exactly like the heart. That's the wrong way. <laughs> But that's fine. Exactly. There's no wrong way to draw. The bells of this clock are semicircles. 
Also, two short rectangular feet. Oh, rectangular feet. Wonderful. Okay, guys, I had so much fun, and now I'm gonna let Emma and Kate play with Eddie. Okay, Emma Kate, are you ready to guess what he's drawing? Yeah! 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 <laughs> okay, here, scan this on right here. Okay, scan it. There you go. You know what I'm going to draw? Uh, Let's see. Let's see what these Please pay attention to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? A frog! A frog! You think it's an ant? Yeah. You think it's a, a mommy, mommy ant? Yeah. yeah. It's a mommy ant. Oh, yeah. No, it's a mommy bunny. A mommy it's bunny? A bunny? Yeah, mommy okay, bunny. Okay, guys, I'm going to continue. Can you guys guess what it is? Let's see. Ant. <laughs> okay, it has eyes. Cute. Look at the big mouth. Whee. Cute. So cute. But they can make it funny if they want to. But it has no ears. It has no ears? Uh -huh. Oh, oh it's, a, it's another arm? Mm -hmm. Spider! Spider! I think it's an ant, guys. Because ants has multiple arms and legs, right? Yeah, I mean, mommy. Darn the legs. I think it's definitely an ant, I think. I think so. Let me see. Guess what it is? It's an ant. It's an ant. It's an ant. It's an ant. You guys guessed right. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun with Eggy and me and Emma and Kate. Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Eggy says bye too.